Hello, Pisces, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you so much, Pisces, for joining me. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. So, Pisces, let's have a look at the love energy updates. Let's see what the cards have to reveal for us. So for those who are new, welcome to our channel. My name is Gigi. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Every week you get two readings, readings plus a bonus weekend tarot reading, which I hope to see you all this Saturday. Okay, Pisces, let's start. Love energies, please. What the cards have to tell us, please. Love energies. Behind the deck, we have the Justice card and also the Four of Pentacles. Justice is all about finding balance here. That's what it is. The Four of Pentacles. Are we keeping things close to our chest here? Not revealing our next move or our next intentions because of some particular reason here. Number four also represents planning. We need to start planning now what we're going to do next in order to have balance. Balance be restored here. Okay. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. It's about being grounded here, consciously being aware of a situation here. So Pisces, what is your situation at the moment here, consciously, when you look at it, when you ground yourself? What is it? What, what is it? If you had to answer that with the Queen of Pentacles, because remember, the Queen of Pentacles is very, very responsible. She kind of like always puts others before her. And I feel what's happening here, also with the big energy, it's also planning. What plans do you have for the future? What are we planning? What are we doing at the moment? Your knight in shining armor, Pisces, the knight of cups. So all knights represent changes, offers. Uh, and again, the most, this is, I love this knight. I'm going to say the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups is usually my favorite. But again, very reliable. This person is not coming in like very flirty or kind of creepy. No, no, no. Very responsible. They want to get, they want to know. They want to be team Pisces. They want to know, okay, who is Pisces? Who is this person? Wow, they're coming pretty fast, actually. We also have the chariot. This person, they're not, they, this is cancer energy. They're very sure what they want, what they look for in a person. And I feel like this relationship is moving. It's progressing. It is starting to move quite fast. And this this could be something as simple as, apart from text messages, this person already may be planning, I want to live together. I want to travel with you. I want to do everything, everything and everything. So great cards already, a major arcana, a court card. And also we have the knight. The Lovers, beautiful, another major arcana, Gemini energy. This, this is beautiful already. I can just feel that you both match and mirror each other. You want, love watching your favorite Netflix TV show. Just being together, having popcorn, watching a favorite TV show is just enough. That's like bliss. So I'm getting that. It's coming through with this card. So having the same hobbies, ideas. Uh, this is just pure happiness and pure love. I'm loving this. Like the feeling's mutual. The feeling is amazing here. Page of Pentacles. Messages are coming now. So it's all about small messages that can lead to face to face communication, of course. But this is also known as the student card. There's going to be a learning here, something important that will require your attention, Pisces. But it's also a learning card. The Seven of Pentacles. You're considering this situation. You're considering, okay, how does this relationship look long term? And I want to go back here. Remember what I said? What are you doing? How, what do you want out of this relationship, Pisces? What are you planning to do? 
Now, the Seven of Pentacles is saying, hey, this relationship can really go the distance, can really like serve you long term because that is known as the investment card. So overall, though, these are great cards, Pisces. These are really good energies, very uplifting energies. I'm seeing that there is love, there's passion, there's like friendship here, planning for the future. I like this. This is good. This relationship is bearing roots. So it's it's growing into a strong foundation. I feel like the more time passes, the more serious it's going to get. The foundation, the commitment that you have for each other. Beautiful. Okay. Let's find out more. Let's clarify. What else does Pisces need to know, please, in regards to Love energies update. Queen of Pentacles, the Devil, and also the Four of Wands. So the devil, a very tempting offer, an invitation, <laughs> I can see here. Now, yes, yes, also the queen of pentacles is also ruled by Capricorn energy. Four of wands, invitations too. So Pisces, yes, it could be an invitation. It could be like a birthday, a wedding, an engagement, something that's happening here. And I feel like this person is, I'm not going to use the word obsessive, but yeah, they're really loving this relationship. It's to the point they're thinking about it quite a lot, actually. And they want to invite you everywhere. They want to take you everywhere, especially with the Four of Wands. And don't forget, also with the Four of Wands can also indicate a change of home address. This person probably wants you to move in with them. They want, to, they want you to live with them. They, they, this person wants progress. And they want change. The Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles has come out twice now. So a message, an offer requires your attention. Also with the Three of Wands, you're going to delay your response, Pisces, <laughs> because the Three of Wands shows, yeah, there's a bit of a delay. You, you may want to, I don't feel like you're the type to be very, very impulsive. You like to think things through, take your time, make sure you don't make a mistake. So Yes, even though this person may come more than once, may come as a message, but then something face-to-face, -face, you may delay your message with the Three of Wands. And just because you want to think things through, you don't want to make a mistake. The Chariot, Six of Wands is victory and also the Hanged Man. Okay, I see what's happening here. So remember what I said? You may delay the process. The Hanged Man shows. Delays, of course. Nothing's moving. And I feel like this person needs to be a little bit patient with you, Pisces, because we also have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is not overnight success. Patience is required with the Six of Wands. Uh, get it? This person really wants change. They want to move really quickly. But I feel with you, Pisces, you like to take things a little bit slower. But it's not a bad thing, of course. And they just need to be patient with you. It's like they feel like they want to move really fast and then everything comes to a halt. And you also have the Six of Wands, which is victory, but it's victory that's a passage of time. The Lovers, Nine of Pentacles also, and the King of Wands. Ooh, nice. King of Wands, we know that's Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This person's very independent. They may run their own business. They may be self-employed. Or may have a position of high importance, but they make their own money, very ambitious, and they're not the type to sit back. They take action. They move. They move very quickly. They are moved by inspiration, passion. And they go for it. And they want to move quite fast with you, Pisces. I can see that. It's like they want to take care of you. They want to, they want to show you that you're in good hands. The Page of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles, yes, working together, 
also the Ten of Pentacles, literally manifesting the ultimate dream life here. So yeah, the, the energy here, I feel like the, like the, the big May energy here is like moving forward, but this person wants to move quite fast. They hate waiting. They're not a very patient person. They're impatient, if anything. So they want to, again, see with the three pen pentacles, okay, Pisces, let's work together. Let's start a plan. Let's build together. Let's do everything together. This is good. So what do we have? Ultimately, what are you going to do? We have the death card, rebirth. You're leaving your old life behind, Pisces, and you're going towards a brand new life, and you finish with the sun. Amazing. So what does this mean with the seven of pentacles? Long term? Yes, this relationship is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's going to serve you long term. There is bliss, there's harmony, abundance, being surrounded by family, friends, children, and the death card. Yeah, Pisces, you're leaving your old self behind. You are transitioning. Think about it, from a caterpillar into a butterfly. You're going out now, emerging into your 2.0 version. Wow, what a journey. What an amazing reading. It's good to be you, Pisces. I'll definitely say that. Look, even behind this deck, what do you have? Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, happiness, abundance. I feel this person, like especially with the energy of this love, it's just going from strength to strength. They just need to just slow down a bit because I feel like they want to move a lot quicker than you, Pisces. It's not a deal breaker. But they need to understand where you're coming from. They, they need to just to slow down a bit because, yeah, I, I'm just seeing really fast energy, especially towards the end with the death card and the sun. Got two, you finish with two major arcanas and it's like, I want to move. I want to, the sun is also a travel car, perhaps moving into a hot and going to somewhere, somewhere hot and sunny. This is also a change of address with the four of wands. Change, there's good changes here. Beautiful energies, Pisces. It's good to be you. Power to you, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.